I said if my last theory got 20,000 likes, I would do a video on the sixth dimension, and you all definitely delivered on this goal. And because so many of you wanted to see this video, let's get right into things. Every time you go up a dimension, you define two new perpendicular directions. So a two-dimensional person would be able to move in four directions, left, right, up and down, or some sort of combination. A three-dimensional person could move in six directions, left, right, up, down, as well as forward and backwards. Following this logic, a six-dimensional being should be able to move in 12 directions. They can move in the six directions that we humans can move in, and they could also manipulate their position in the dimension of time. So at this point, we've defined eight directions, but we're trying to get to 12. Well, this creature would also have a hyperspace in the fifth dimension they could freely move through. And in addition to these five dimensions, our creature would have access to another hyperspace in the sixth dimension. So these would be the 12 unique orthogonal directions of our six-dimensional being. 